Welcome to part 10 of my build of the quarter scale Jerry Bates Cessna 172 Skyhawk. This video is a slideshow with a voiceover of some pictures I took while building it. Day 55. I am man enough to admit defeat. This molding was a failure. I am going to put this on hold for a few weeks, get some more glass fibre and other materials and then try again. Now I am going back to the fuselage. I need to make a frame around the back window and a centre post. The frame is made from 0.8mm plywood. Here I have glued one side of the right hand frame onto the fuselage. And here both sides have been glued on one edge. The upper and lower frame parts will be glued later, along with the one on the centre post. Day 56. The frame for the back window is installed and ready. I have now started putting the glass fibre on the fuselage. This is a 48 gram cloth that I got from Fighter Aces in England. On top of the glass fibre I put some peel ply that I received from Ireland. Thanks Dave. I am now looking forward to peeling it off tomorrow. Day 57. I've been very busy the past week plastering the fuselage with glass fibre and resin. It really takes a long time because you can only glass one part of the fuse at a time and then you have to wait for a day for the resin to harden. Here is a small collage. And finally the fuselage is covered in glass fibre and resin and waits for the next part, primer and sanding. And priming and sanding and priming and sanding. Day 58. I sprayed some filler primer on the fuselage. Here I have started sanding the primer away and putting filler in the most obvious holes and scratches. This is going to take a long time. Day 59. I have finished sanding the fuselage, adding filler and then sanding it down. This has been a lot of work but extremely enjoyable to see the fuselage skin becoming nice and smooth. Then I sprayed a thin layer of primer on the fuse. When this has dried completely I can sand it with uh, 400 grit sandpaper and then put filler in dings I missed the first time. When it was clear that Robot are not going to manufacture the flap hinges I need and Zeroli could not help me either though they tried their best I started looking elsewhere. Google found for me a shop in Quebec, Canada called Aircraft Modelers Research or AMR who had a few sets in stock. I called them up as their sales program only listed Canada as a country and Eric, with whom I spoke, told me to send an email to sales at amr-rc.com. This I did on Tuesday the 9th of April. That same day I paid for the hinges with PayPal. On the 12th of April, three days later, I collected the hinges at a shipping company in Dalvik, Iceland. For us who are used to waiting sometimes many weeks for delivery, this is super fast. And since I had my hands on the hinges, I started installing them in the wings. Day 60. It took me a long time to figure out how the hinges work and how to fit the flaps. I bolted the hinges on the right flap and then made holes for them in the wing. The inner part of the hinges will be glued to the ribs of the wing. 